Hi everyone, welcome to Mars Art Camp for activity number two. Today's activity is inspired by the artists Floor Gardner, Sean Cardinal, and others like them that make beautiful, intricate patterns on photographs using embroidery string. Now, don't get too overwhelmed by the complexity of that because I've designed this activity in a way with modifications for beginner, intermediate, and advanced. As you can see, some designs are more intricate than others, so you can really do whatever's gonna be fun for you. This is also a good time to tell you that for each project we do, I'm going to be creating an inspiration board on Pinterest, where if you're kind of stumped and not sure what to do, you can go check that out and check out related pins to find an idea that's gonna work for you. Love this one. The materials you'll need for the advanced version of this project are embroidery string, and if you don't have that, find another kind of string. Twine will work too. Um, some old photographs that you don't mind um, poking some holes in, a needle, some tape, you'll need a thumbtack, and something to poke into. I used foam board, but you could probably use cardboard as well. If you're planning a more intricate design, you can use tracing paper or regular paper to draw it on first. You use this as a template on your photograph when you're ready to start poking your holes. The first step is pretty fun because you get to go through a bunch of old photographs and decide which ones that you want to use. So let's get started with what I would consider the advanced version of this activity. I think I'm going to do a heart for this one. It's just really pretty to have a heart up in the sky. And then I'm going to attach it to the photo. Once that's ready to go, I'm going to put it on my poking board. So you're going to take your thumbtack and you're going to place holes in your image. Um, I would go no closer than an eighth of an inch apart because you don't want to form one big hole. Now, this part is very important. My first time, I actually left this on before I started threading my photo. Don't do that. You don't want to attach that to your photo. So you're going to want to start your first thread from the back of the photo. Ouch! Be careful not to poke yourself. <laughs> Pull that all the way through, and then if you're a neat person like my husband, you'll tie some nice knots, and if you're impatient like me, you might just use a piece of tape. As you can see, his looks pretty refined on the back. He made this amazing turtle, and mine, <laughs> not so much. Hey, we all have different styles, right? So for your first one, you're going to be going down into the next hole. After that, we're going to do what's called a back stitch. You're going to go in the next hole from the back, bring it up through, and then once you pull that all the way through, you're going to put it, make sure you, sometimes it gets a little snagged, but anyway, you're going to bring it up through and go back towards the previous one that you went through. And you continue like that all the way around your object. And that's why it's called a back stitch. Now, there's a lot of other stitches you can do as well, and if you sew or embroider, I cannot wait to see what kind of variety you can come up with. I'm a beginner, so I'm just doing the back stitch for pretty much all of mine. Once you're finished, turn it around. You can do the Jeremy method, my husband, of tying lots of knots, or you can do the impatient Mars method, which is to just use a piece of tape. Let me know which method you decide to do in the comments. All right, time to show you guys what I came up with for intermediate and beginner. The materials you'll need for this one are a hole punch, preferably not a three hole punch, but that was all I had. And some thicker string, maybe you have yarn or twine or um, you can even use that nylon stuff that you use outside, really anything that you think your kids will have fun with. First, you're going to select a photo and use the hole punch. Now, you'll be more limited to the outside of the photo, but this still leaves plenty of potential for different shapes and patterns and designs that you can make. Once you have all the phones that you want punched into the photo, go ahead and get your bigger string or yarn, and once again, either knot or tape. 
Now you're free to start creating a border or shapes going back and forth on the inside. There actually is a lot of potential to play around with. Um, I just did a, a border for this one, so I'll show you guys what that looks like. After I was finished, I experimented a little with creating different border designs. You could do something that looks like a curtain or stripes or a star. I'm really excited to see what people come up with. Now for the beginner version. For this one, you're actually just going to cut little slits around the side. Some little kiddos don't have the fine motor skills yet to actually thread something through a hole, and while it's a great challenge and practice for them, if they're not ready for it, they could be getting a little frustrated. So this will solve that problem. Using this method, you're still going to be able to create really cool shapes like stripes, crisscrosses, and even stars. The great thing about the beginner version is that you can just do it again and again and try out all different styles so you can really focus on the process rather than the end result. I almost figured out how to do a star, but I ran out of string. So if you do figure out how to make a star, please uh, show us in the comments. The final thing of note is that if maybe you're not ready to do it on a photograph or you have a really young one who, you know, just wants to mess around and have fun, you can do this on a paper plate as well. It holds up pretty well and, you know, it's a good place to just practice and you can weave it in and out over and over again. And um, later on, I'm going to have a cool spider web project for kids that uses a similar technique. So uh, it could be a good practice for them. Even on the plate, you can still do the star and maybe they can even color in the plate afterwards. So I hope you enjoyed the beginner, intermediate, and advanced versions of photo embroidery. Um, as always, please leave any photos, feedback, tips, ideas, modifications that you come up with in the comments because it's always helpful for the rest of the campers to see. Thanks again for joining Mars Art Camp and happy creating!